It's a Zimbabwe and Kenya collaboration right there. Tembalami and Evelyn Manjira with the song Sawa. And Karibuni Sana to you guys uh, again to Full Circle with Joyce. Hoping you're well this morning and I hope you are grateful, Maze, just for the day, for life. Uh, I know it's raining outside and some people are just like, what is wrong with this January? But let's just give thanks to God for life, health uh, and the blessing of rain. All right. And uh, with that said, we want to jump straight into our very first segment for the day. But I also want to remind you that our wake up call is going to be coming to you at 9 a.m. OK, so from the second hour. And so if you want to be part of that, I do hope you get SMSing to double two triple nine. I'm going to be looking for a phone number and calling you up today. Just so that we can have a little chit chat and give you an opportunity to send out your salams and so with that said today we want to focus on wedding nail art right a lot of people again this year perhaps will be the year for you to get married want to get you started on you know looking your best for your big day and here to discuss that with me I have Fabian who's the owner of Fabian Nails Parlor Karibu sana to the show Asante. now of course weddings do mean a lot um, especially, you know, for women, it's it's one of the biggest days of our lives, and even for men, um, it's a fresh beginning, a new chapter of life. And so, whether you are planning on getting married soon, or you're still, you know, dreaming and praying and hoping for it, um, there's a lot of details that go into the wedding day, and our nails should not be left behind. And so. There's even ways to match up the theme of your wedding and you can actually translate that on your nails, can't yeah, you, Fabio? Yeah, yes. Okay. Um, so how long have you been in the nail art business? Uh, for three years now. Three years now? Yeah. Is this, how did you even get into this? Uh, I would say it's by grace. I, I love art. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Why is it that they're so, like, it's almost like all the good nail techs are dudes, or many of the good nail techs are good. I don't know um, why. Are, are guys. Maybe because You've we have... You've noticed that too. There's a lot of yeah. male-run nail tech businesses. Yeah. Yeah. I guess maybe it's because of uh, the passion we put into it. Yeah. But also there are women who are coming up, and they For are sure. good. Maybe in the next one year we'll have some good... Yeah, ladies. It's yeah. like they say, you know, men actually tend to be better chefs than than women. So I think there's this. It's actually it's a real thing. <laughs> yeah, there yeah, might yeah. be that psychology of the things that we think are women's roles versus the things that we think are men's roles. Yeah, and there's a lot of disruption with that too as well. Yeah. But um, so three years ago you started this. Is this something then you studied? Did you go to school for no, it? No, I never went to school. It was just I, I did it. I learned via YouTube. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Although there was, there was a friend of mine who taught me the basics, mm -hmm. but everything else, like 90% of what I, what I have learned now, it's YouTube. Okay. I watch a YouTube video every day. I practice every day. Okay. Yeah, because there are new trends coming up every single day. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube University. <laughs> someone <laughs> should do a study on the number of businesses that have been started because someone learned something on YouTube. Yeah. Right? And it's a good encouragement to a lot of young people that even if you can't afford to go to school for something, yeah. there's so many free quote unquote resources for us out there. Yeah. And it's just it's about taking the time to choose to learn and to set aside the time to actually learn something and to practice it as you're saying. Yeah. So even with your business now, you're still practicing. I do. Every single day. It's, it's, it's a must. Okay. Because the trend keep on changing every single day. Right. And you have to be updated. Yeah. So you have to practice every single day. And you know now, Nairobi is one of those cities in Africa whereby they're like New York. So you have to keep up with Mm. every single style that is coming up okay yeah so speaking about those trends are there specific trends for weddings or do people kind of nowadays just get whatever they want i feel like back in the day every bride had those n french nail tips yeah, yeah. <laughs> these days it is not yeah these days people are breaking out of that box mm -hmm. of the past whereby now today you can even see a lady wearing something that is yellow nails mm -hmm. and they would done it for the wedding mm -hmm. But back then it was not so. It yeah. was just French, white, yeah. nude. Today, no, we are, it is not specific. Okay. People are going all out. Okay. Yeah. And how, how can people sort of incorporate their wedding theme into their nail art for the day? Should it, should it matter, I guess? Uh, some, to some it matters, to some it doesn't. But I think for me, I think it, you should incorporate in it, uh, the 
the theme of the wedding, mm -hmm. to be part of the nails. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, don't make it to go off. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And so, say for example, because there's different wedding themes, right? There's yeah. those. Those are there's those very, I guess, traditional or classic yeah. uh, type of weddings, which then the French tips and nudes and whatnot would be, I guess, appropriate. Yeah. But for someone who wants, say, an African themed wedding, yeah. what would you do for them on their nails? I'll still play with it. It's a freestyle thing. I can give you any look mm -hmm. as long as. I have I, because uh, because that is what you want. Yeah. Then we will have to jump into it and just give you that specific thing. Okay. If it is African, if you want it anyhow, I will give you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, of late, though, within the last maybe year or so, um, is there any particular trend that you've seen now for weddings? Or again, it's what you're saying that people are just doing whatever they feel like. Yeah, there is there is a um, ombre. Ombre. It is catching up with most Nairobians. Okay. So everybody want to jump into, they are doing ombre, ombre, back to back. Yeah. You know, for, for a wedding, then adding some decorations to it. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. And um, for those then who, maybe they didn't have the best nails <laughs> growing up. <laughs> maybe they used to chew their nails or their nails are super weak. They are always breaking their nails in one form or another. Yeah. Um, what can you do for such a person who still wants, you know, because there's that part where your mkono is in what like this, to, to have the ring put and then you're supposed to show everybody. And you don't yeah. want <laughs> to have like not nice looking nails at that moment. Yeah. yeah. So what can you do for someone who maybe their nails aren't in the best of shape? We will do something we call extending. We can extend them via either acrylics. We can do, we can sculpt them. Mm -hmm. And they will hold. They um, won't break. They won't the break. Okay, so we and as we and our girl, we make sure that they <laughs> stick. <laughs> they are supposed to last maybe for even a month, okay. depending with the length, because we will not give you something that will be un you will not be You're comfortable not in. To, yeah. So you have to. We have to give you something that is not as long, long, because if it is long and you are not used to long nails, mm -hmm. then they will break. Okay. Yeah. All right. And so typically then, what would be the charges for a good nail service um, at your place? I know it would depend on what sort of thing someone is getting. Yeah. But say they want to just do, I don't know, for example, there's a gel polish or one wants to do this extensions, as you're yeah. saying. What can someone sort of, is there a range? Maybe someone can expect to pay. Yeah. There's a range of uh, prices uh, for, for like a bridal nails. The perfect one will be from 3500 Okay. Yeah, the perfect one. But if, depending with your budget also, we can give you something for 2000 Okay. 2500 What is yeah. this perfect one? Uh, acrylics are the best when okay. they come to weddings. Okay. Because you are able to play with them and bring out the art. Because some of these things, like if you do stick-ons with gel polish, you don't have much play. Yeah. You, you don't have the space to play with the... Yeah. With a nail. Okay. Yeah. And are those healthy to have, like for the nails? I know there's a lot of discussion about whether acrylics are good for your nails or yeah, not. Yeah, they are very perfect. They're not damaging. There are people damaging. who do acrylics from January to December, month to month. they still have nails? Yeah, they still have nails. <laughs> it depends with how they are removed. Okay. It also, because there are people who pluck them off. You're not supposed to do so. There are also people who bite them off. You're not supposed to do so. Mm -hmm. So the best thing to do is to go back to your nail tech and don't juggle between one nail tech to another. Yeah. Just stick to one nail tech and then um, let him or her take care of your nails. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. like, it's like, uh, in kama hospitali. Yeah. Usiruke ruke. Usiruke ruke. So anyhow. one person understands your journey. Yeah, where yeah. So you have to walk that journey together. Okay. And then grow with that person at the same time. Be patient with them. Okay. And, uh, but, don't also do long nails too much because also people want to do long nails and uh, look like any other person. Mm -hmm. For it, you start with the small ones, mm -hmm. then you grow as okay. you get used to. to. All right. Yeah. Well, I we have some images here. This is work that you've done. Yeah. So this is what you're calling the ombre. This nails. is ombre look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are acrylics. Yeah. So you mostly deal with acrylics. Um, uh, we are home of acrylics. Okay, home yeah. of acrylics. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see what other images we have. 
Um, okay, Th those are pink. That looks lovely. Yeah. Those are quite long, and this shape is called ballerina. Coffin or ballerina. Yeah. yeah. I prefer to say ballerina <laughs> because I'm like, <laughs> I don't want coffins on my hands. But um, let's see what else we have. Okay. I can see that as a very like glam look. Yeah. Someone could use this for a wedding too. Yeah, yeah. Right. Maybe we have one more. All right. So I think we're back to that one. Certainly, um, you've seen there some of Fabian's work. He says it's the home of acrylics. And uh, so if someone wants to pay you a visit, how can they find you? Uh, my number is... Uh, they can find me on uh, on Instagram, yeah. Fabian.nils. My number is 0712-297-098. Okay. I'm on uh, Facebook also. We have uh, Fabian the brand. Okay. Um, yeah, they can book us. But you have we are, we we only do appointment on. Okay. Yeah. Hey, business is good. Yeah. <laughs> because we we don't like to keep you there waiting for yeah. for the line. Okay. We like to follow procedure okay yeah so book an appointment with fabian nails uh and go and get yourself glammed up go and get your fingernails glammed up thank you very much for coming to the show thank you I do appreciate your time and with that said guys we need to take a break right now as we get ready for our next segment we're going to be talking about how to beat the hard financial times and thrive as well that's coming up next we're going to have a financial consultant and a corporate trainer here in studio with me so stay tuned this is full circle with joyce <laughs>